Max Trax Mobile Manager Tablet Tour. Let's take a look what the tablet offers you. Going to the upper left hand side and tapping here, the first thing we have is assigning an individual to that tablet. And all you have to do is go here, tap over here, and everybody that's in your management system will be displayed. Choose the individual, and there you go. Take a picture if you wish to, and that picture will go out when you send the inspection. But once you hit OK, you're good to go. And mind you, you only want to assign one person to a tablet, and you only can assign one person to a tablet. Work in progress. We'll come back to this. Inspections. This is a great management tool. It allows your manager to take a look and see what's going on here, and they can determine whether there's a problem with the flow of your inspections or not. You also have a different ways that you can display this, and that's one thing to always check is that Android menu up there. And um, going in here, you literally can tap on these to take a look and see where the technician is. So the inspection screen is a great screen for managers. Schedule. This here shows any vehicles that you have still scheduled inside Max Tracks. And if the vehicle hasn't shown up yet and it drives in now, you can actually tap here and start this appointment and turn it into a repair order. And one of the nice things about that is if you do your homework up front and put all your information in, writing up a customer with the tablet is going to be very easy to do. Next thing on the list is the chat function. The chat function gives you two different ways of chatting. You can do the team chat, which goes out to everybody, and whatever message is sent out, everybody gets. And you also have the ability to do private chat. So if there's somebody that you just want to send a message to and no one else to see, you need some napkins for today's lunch meeting, uh, you can send that message out just like that. And that's a great tool for communicating back and forth through the Bolton products. Settings. All the computers and tablets need to communicate. And they do this by using what's called an IP address and a port. And this is pretty fixed, but occasionally, very, it doesn't happen all that often, these items can be lost and your tablets will just display a little gray circle trying to connect. If that should ever happen, all you need to do is go up here and tap on this and it's going to turn the camera on the tablet on. You'll need to go to the main server computer open up Report Pro, go to Settings, and then go to Mobile Config. And when you click on there, if it asks you a question, answer yes. And when this QR code comes up, you're going to take that tablet with the camera on and scan this. And it will automatically pull this IP address and port address across and reprogram the tablet so it can reconnect with your system. Note that also if you have your stickers printer set up, and your Report Pro computer and key tag printer set up, it will also pull those items across too at the same time. And once you've done all this and it resets itself, you're good to go and your tablet will be up and running again with no trouble. Once the server configuration is done, if you have printers assigned, and they will pull across when you do that same scanning of the QR code. Repair information. If you have an active license for ProDemand, ShopKey Pro, or All Data, select the ones that you have those actual licenses for, and we'll show you how to use them on the tablets. If you happen to have a newer tablet that has a light for the camera, select this and it will turn the light on when you're taking pictures, making it easier to get a good photograph. And then chat. Both of these selected, you're going to see both the team chats that go out to everybody, and the block and the bottom one selected will put the private chats right on the tablet. These select either or, and you'll get no chats whatsoever. The work in progress screen should mimic what you have in Max Tracks. You have a number of different ways that you can display the work in progress screen right on the tablet. Always check out this menu in the upper right hand side. Tap on it, and tap on display, and you can sort the jobs in the work in progress by a number of different methods. If you tap here, you're going to see you can go by customer name, order new to old, all to new, order type status, etc. Choose whatever works best for you. You can filter by the status, all the statuses that you have available or not, if it's waiting for parts, etc., etc., or you can show all them. And you can also filter by technician by choosing that technician so you only see their jobs.
Now the display will lay out in the way that you set it up. Going over here and hitting refresh, refresh tells the tablet to reach out to the main system and get the latest and greatest information. So if you change something back in Max Tracks or you change something here on the tablet, that information will now be transmitted back and forth as need be. The search function. You can search by customer name. You can search by vehicle year. You can search by model. You can search by many different methods. Choose whatever one works for you.